How's it going YouTube? Today I have a fun video for you. I've got a, my hands on a new Verizon device and I'm hoping this holds me over until the Nexus 6 or you know for a little while anyway. Let's go ahead and check this out. So you have Verizon and you're looking for a new mean green Android machine. Maybe this is going to be the device for you. Introducing the all new Motorola Droid Turbo. This thing is a beast. This device is sporting a 5.2 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and you can really see it. This thing has a super impressive PPI of 565 pixels per inch. Ah, oh, totally amazing. Also, the display is 2560 by 1440. That is that, could say, 2K display. Um, this thing looks stunning. Absolutely perfect. You can't make out a pixel on it. I love this display. So when it comes to specs, this device is super impressive. This thing has got a Snapdragon 805 processor in it, along with a Andrino 420 GPU, which just runs quite nicely. You can even come down in here and look in apps and see how much RAM this thing has. And right now, it's using one gig of RAM and it has almost two gigs free. That's right, this has three gigs of RAM on it. So more RAM than you really need. It's also sporting Android 4.4.4, which is KitKat right now, right there you can see it. There's your K and your cat or KitKat right there. Easter egg, very, very nice. It should be getting uh, Android Lollipop Android 5.0 very, very soon. Um, it is very, very nice specs. Also, if you come into settings here, you're going to see that you have a very nice storage on this thing. I got the 32 gig model, and um, it looks like the Android OS takes up about 8 gigs. You can see it right there. And then you have storage of 24 gigs almost, and I've got about 22 gigs of free space left on my device. So that's plenty for me. 32 is really kind of a sweet spot when it comes to storage space on most devices. So that's normally what I try to get if I have the opportunity. Besides all these amazing specs, I would like to talk about the battery. Now this battery is quite impressive and it actually has 3,900 milliamp hour battery in this device, which is just kind of mind boggling. Um, and it supposedly has a turbocharger. So let me show you that. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this in the video, but um, it has some different ratings here for voltage for charging this thing, which is quite interesting. Two different turbo things. It says turbo, see if I can see it, output of 12 volts at 1.2 amps, uh, turbo 1 output of 9 volts at 1.6 amps, standard output 5 volts at 1.6 amps. So it looks like it does some varying different things and it's very important that you use this charger with this device. Um, I guess it should charge really fast. I actually want to test the charging speed. So let's do a quick test on that. So here's going to be our test. Right now our battery is at 46%. I'm going to run it for 10 minutes and we're going to see how much and how fast this turbocharger actually charges the turbo. Da -dunk, da -dunk. We are plugged in and let's start our timer. Here we go. Very interesting. I don't know if you guys noticed, you probably did. Percentage of battery didn't even change. It's still reading exactly the same. Oh, there we go. 
need to free re refresh the widget. So in five minutes, we picked up, eh, what would that be? 6% battery in five minutes with the screen on. So this is a Quad HD display. These things do soak up a lot of power. So we're gonna test it again for five more minutes with the screen off and see how much we pick up that time. Start again. So let's see how much of a difference did the screen being off really make on this device. And that's actually quite interesting. Let's go ahead and refresh this just to make sure it refreshed. There we go. 6%. Still 6%. Screen on, screen off. This thing charges at 6% per 5 minutes. Now I would be curious with it totally off. We're not going to test that right now. But uh, I, would, I was going to expect we were going to do a lot better with the screen off without that super remold. Uh, you know quad HD display on but uh, obviously it charges fine either way so it's very interesting so that is most of the hardware I want to show you guys um, hardware is very nice in this device is very solid um, really quickly I guess I'll show you the rest of it uh, you do have a speaker up here along the top along with the front facing camera your buttons are off screen it's got these ones right here along the bottom on the bottom of the digitizer which are fine not, not too big a deal let's uh, flip this thing over and yes, you are sporting the Verizon logo on here. That's where I, well, I got mine from Best Buy technically. It does have the Droid there, a little blacked out um, Droid logo, right, or Motorola logo right there. Two LED flashes and a camera with a nice little accent silver ring around it. You can actually make out the buttons right here. Let me show you those. There, it's the volume button, and our power button right there, and volume rockers up and down. And then headphone jack on the top. So onto the software. Well, I guess this is one of my favorite things. This is a lot of the Motorola devices have some kind of cool weather widget. And this one's cool just like all the rest of them. Definitely like it. Very nice. Little bit of weather stuff on there. Battery, uh, notes, clock. It's all right there. Very, very cool. Nice animation when you open and close it up. So very nice. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. So just some two screens here. Nothing uh, too fancy. Don't have anything else on it. You see I have some of my custom apps already installed. Um, let's go ahead and shoot into the app drawer. And yes, it does come with all the Verizon bloatware uh, that you have on most of the Verizon devices. Um, what else is new? There are obviously some things like Migrate from Motorola. Um, Moto there, there's another little icon right there. Um, Quick Office does come, seem to come on all the Verizon devices as well. So just a couple things in there. You should also have Connect, which is for your smartwatch if you have one. That's a very nice app. And then uh, Droid Zap right there as well. And you know, standard applications, otherwise all your Amazon, all that fun and bloatware, which hopefully I'll be doing a video on soon to show you guys how to uh, deal with that on your device. Deal with it or remove it, whichever you prefer. I'll show you the best way to deal with it, at least in my opinion. So there you go, now let's go ahead and check on our widgets and see what we have here. So there's a clock, standard, there's that command center widget, which is very nice. Actually, stay tuned, I should have a video maybe on installing that on any, mm, any Android device actually, hopefully. Should have a video on that coming up soon too as well. Pretty cool if you want that on your Android device. Let's see if I can get all my widgets, wow man, there is a lot of widgets to choose from. Pretty much standard ones though, nothing really too exciting. A lot of those are from apps I've already downloaded and installed. You do have your navigation center right here, which is very nice. Standard uh, KitKat navigation and then into your settings. You can always get into home, which is really cool. You have Launcher 3, which is what comes with the device, or I, I installed the Google Now Launcher, which I am not using right now, but it is there. I do like that you can change that there. Here's your Moto stuff, Droid Zap, all that's in here as well. 
motor oil policy, backup stuff, system updates, you can check for those right there very easily, and about phone. So, pretty standard stuff here, nothing really too, you know, too crazy exciting. I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi, go ahead and uh, get that connected again. And there you go, that's kind of an overview of the applications on the device. Let me show you a couple of the neat tricks and neat things about the Droid devices that are on Verizon. They have quite a few neat little effects, so let's show you some of those. So one of the coolest things I like about this device is the notification menu. And if you have one, it'll automatically heartbeat on you on the screen. Or if you bring your hand towards the screen, it will bring up the notifications. You can click here and you can go down to unlock. Or if you have a notification, you can click here and swipe up to it. Let me go ahead and show you one with a notification. So here you go, you guys can see that I have this pulsating and all of my device going off at the same time, pulsating notifications. If I hover over it again, you can see that it will turn on. And then if I click on it and I scroll up, well, if I click on it, you can actually drag yeah, up and it'll open it or you can just view it. So you can see it's from me. It says, hi, YouTube and test. And if you scroll up, it'll open up my Gmail account. So just very, very cool. You can easily get to those notifications. Again, hover, or you can swipe here and swipe to the side, and it removes the notification. So I really like this display for the notifications. Just super nice, great job there, Motorola. The last fun feature I'd like to show off for you guys is how to launch the camera. Now, if you've seen the Moto X, you've seen this feature before, but I'm really glad they keep it in here because I like it. It's really nice. So. If you have your phone, you want to launch the camera, whether the screen's on or even if the screen's off, just do this. And shabam, camera's launched. You want to take a quick picture? Boom, done. How is that for simple? Yeah, very nice. See? A little quick shake. And camera is launched. Yep, gotta love it. Absolutely love that feature as well. Very, very cool. Well guys, there you go, that's about going to wrap it up for my first impressions, kind of review of the Droid Turbo. Love this thing, I'm going to activate it and start using it. Um, really excited to get a full test on that battery, um, along with just the full experience of the Droid Turbo here. So, really happy about that. Stay tuned if you want to see more videos on this device. I'll be covering a bunch of stuff. Hopefully we'll get a root method and maybe a bunch of custom mods and hacks for this thing. Hopefully we have some developers still working on these Verizon devices. And I'll definitely be covering any of that. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.